Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Thursday, November 9th, 2017. Take a look at this trade setup, folks. It's not quite at the entry yet, but I want to give it to you ahead of time so you can watch for it to hit the trigger levels, and I'll go over this trade in depth. The trade is on IBM. It would be a buy on IBM. Now, if you recall, recently IBM reported great earnings results. The stock had this huge gap up, and for three consecutive days, one, two, three, went higher. Now, since then, it's really just continued to fall back in. And this is where the opportunity comes in because essentially we know they had good earnings and the stock is getting close to a level where we could buy it now pre-earnings, meaning the price point pre-earnings, knowing what the earnings were. And considering the earnings were as good as they were, I think this is a no-brainer if it gets to these two key levels. Now, I'm giving you two levels because what I want to do and what I do, I like to buy half positions. So if normally you put 10% of your swing trade account in a trade, you would do a 5% initial buy at a certain price. Then if a stock just shoots up, you make money. If it goes a little bit lower to the secondary, you get the other half of your position. And then when it rallies, you make double the money. But again, the key is you want to get involved at the right levels. So the key is very clear. I mean, this is so, so simple here. See this pivot top right here? Put a trend line in right there. Notice how that trend line meets the 50 moving average right there. That is your first buy. Your first buy is at 148.70. I repeat, 148.70. The next level is obvious. It's the gap fill from earnings. So this would be a 100% retrace of the move off of earnings. So here's where the stock was trading before earnings. It gapped up, ran, and now it's coming back in. When it gets back to that level, that's where you would buy your second half. That's at 146.70. So basically, we have two levels, 148.70 and 146.70, which if you get both levels, you get a nice little average right in the middle there for the stock to go higher. And again, I think, you know, especially coming into a market, in my personal opinion, you know, at some point we're going to get a pullback in this market. It's not going to go higher forever. And this stock for me is a safer play to be long versus a high technology, high risk stock like NVIDIA or Tesla or, you know, any of these other ones. I mean, at least this is old trusty IBM. And again, you have good earnings out there from the stock. So that gives me a little bit more confidence as well. So we'll keep a close eye on this. But again, this is a great little trade setup uh, in terms of an upside target. In my opinion, you'd actually look for at least double top here as target one, because when you get a retrace, eventually the stock will trade back up, even if it's on the next earnings earnings call, probably getting back to that level. I would take half off there and then look for a secondary target at this gap fill at 170. So that would be a nice gain, folks, on IBM. And again, this is a little bit longer of a swing trade. You know, you're probably looking out multiple, multiple months, but I think this is a great opportunity if it comes in and triggers at those two levels. Now, again, one thing just to mention, it needs to hit probably in the next week, week and a half. If it doesn't, then I would ignore this um, video. Do not buy it after that point. But again, if it hits in the next week, week and a half, this is a great opportunity to go long on IBM. All right, bottom line is, folks, I'm giving out swing trades like this in the Research Center with my exact entry price. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Get involved. Get awesome. Get profitable. This is where it's at. Take the seven-day free trial to the Research Center at InTheMoneyStocks.com.